Hi, I'm Al, and in this edition of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, we're going to continue on the LS Swap series. And today, I'm going to cover camshaft swaps in a Gen 3, Gen 4 LS motor. So in the Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS engines, sometimes there was something called an active fuel management system. Now that's either going to be displacement on demand or variable valve timing. The displacement on demand, or DOD, is exactly like it sounds. It shuts off half or a few of the cylinders when the demand is lower. So when your throttle is only part way open, just cracked a little bit, the same amount of airflow is required into the cylinders to create that cylinder pressure as if you were wide open throttle. Because there's less air getting into all of those cylinders, the cylinder pressure is lowered and thus creating a less efficient burn. Well, if you turn off a few of the cylinders, that same air is then going to less cylinders, raising the cylinder pressure, creating a more efficient burn. Now, variable valve timing is slightly different. The way variable valve timing works is by adjusting the timing of the valves opening and closing, as well as the spark, depending on the RPM and the demands of the engine. So at higher RPMs, the timing is retarded, and at lower RPMs, the timing is advanced. So that way, that means when you're cruising down the highway and you're demanding less from the engine, a lower RPM, the engine is operating more efficiently by re retarding the timing. Now, so now let's get around to the actual camshaft swap. A lot of the same principles uh, for any camshaft swap are, are very similar and we've actually done a video already on how to select the right camshaft for your application. You can watch that video here. The one thing that you're really going to have to look out for when you're looking at camshafts for your LS engine is does the camshaft work well with the active fuel management system that you currently have in your LS engine. A lot of the camshafts out there that work with the active fuel management system are a single bolt camshaft. That's one thing that you're going to want to look for. Whereas more of the performance oriented camshafts, they're going to be a three bolt camshaft. Now if you have any questions of whether the cam works well with the active fuel management system uh, and you can't figure that out on the web, please give us a call. We'll make sure that you're getting the right camshaft for that fuel management system. Now if you want to take advantage of the horsepower and torque potential of that LS engine, you're probably going to lean more towards that performance oriented camshaft. Well, you're going to also then need a active fuel management delete system. Now Summit Racing has two different kits, one for VVT and one for DOD, and I've, I'm going to go ahead and include links to those down below, so make sure you check those out. The DOD delete kit includes the valley tray, some lifters, the lifter retainers, as well as some intake manifold bolts because you're going to have to pull that intake manifold off to install both the lifters as well as the retainers. The other thing you're going to want to look for is because you're typically switching from a single bolt camshaft to a three bolt camshaft, you're going to need a new camshaft gear on your timing set. So you're probably going to want to make sure that the timing gear of the camshaft as well as the crank match up correctly. It's either a link belt or a roller type system. I think most of them are rollers. You can tell easily by the teeth coming up to a point. The other thing I'm going to recommend is that you stay away from the double roller timing chain setups. The reason is, is the double roller is obviously twice as thick as the single roller and it's going to end up pushing the oil pump away from the block a little further. You're going to need spacers as well as potentially having to clear the timing cover. The other thing that you're going to want to look out for after you've completed your camshaft swap is with any camshaft swap, you're going to want to make sure the springs in the cylinder head match what the camshaft is, the type of lift, there's no bind, 
as well as the push rod length. You're going to want to make sure that the push rod length is correct. And we've actually done a video on checking your push rod length and you can watch that video here. Now in terms of variable valve timing, we also have that delete kit. That delete kit includes a timing cover, a new cam sprocket, so that way it's already getting you on your way. You can go ahead and select the appropriate lifters as well as the appropriate camshaft that you're looking for in your build. Now if you have any other questions about LS type camshafts, I'd love to hear them. Please feel free to leave a question in the co comments below. Remember I've left a link to both the VVT as well as DOD delete kits in the description below. Hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest QuickFlix videos and be sure to watch our other videos. Thanks for watching.